Um, so one of the, so it's a fantastic question and I would be lying if I said I had all the answers and I'm very comfortable saying I don't know, so I don't mind doing that at all. Um, and so it's, so SIBO and what, uh, you're, it's a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and it's, it can be a complication of, uh, of any time there's a dysmotility of the small bowel and essentially you have bacterial overgrowth in the small bowel due to stasis and then it can cause a number of symptoms including malabsorption but then also gas production, diarrhea, abdominal discomfort and bloating, um, and it's usually treated with courses of antibiotics. And like in other conditions that predispose to, to small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, recurrence is, is very common um, if you don't address the underlying condition. And because eosinophilic gastroenteritis is a chronic condition, it can be hard to, treat, to, to successfully treat the underlying condition so that the bacterial overgrowth doesn't occur. I would say that any time you have a, 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 um, an infiltration um, or inflammation in the muscularis of the small bowel, you do predispose to that kind of dysmotility. Um, and then so successful treatment of the inflammation is gonna, it's gonna give you your best chance of then decreasing the secondary bacterial overgrowth.